everybody. Welcome to today's activity. So today, today we're introducing numerical numbers. So once your little one is familiar with the counting songs and the concept of counting, we move on to rote and rotational counting and we introduce this with numerical numbers. We teach them the concept that these numbers mean the same as the words they have been saying and that each holds their own value. As I mentioned today, we'll be doing the first group, which is zero to five. And if you want your little one to practice and partake with us in the lesson, please give them a group of something that is exactly the same. Maybe five spoons, for example, or five blocks. As you can see here, I've got five balls of Play-Doh, which is absolutely perfect. And whatever the group is, it must please be the same thing. So the same size, the same color, because it's very difficult for them to suddenly start trying to practice counting if they're working with different materials that aren't the same. We always start with zero as they need to understand that there is something that means nothing and it is and it extends the theory of numbers. This will all this will form the basis for all maths and all equations and theories to follow. So it's a very, very important skill for them to master. So I hope they enjoy and let's get started. Hi everybody, are you ready to count with us today? Who can tell me all these numbers that I have on my table? Let's start with this one. This is zero. So we're gonna practice counting from zero all the way up to number, who knows what number this is? Very good, number five. So the first one we're gonna do is number is zero, well done. Can everybody say zero for me? Now let's practice writing zero. So can you see here, it just goes round and round like a circle. So if you want to practice on the table or you want to practice with a piece of paper and a pen, we're just going to go round and round, zero. Now, did you know that zero is a number, but it actually means nothing? Isn't that amazing? We have a number that means nothing. So if I asked you to show me zero fingers, I want you to hide your hands behind your back because zero means nothing. Well done. If you clap zero times, let's clap zero times. <gasps> we can't because zero means nothing. Well done, everybody. If I was to count zero Play-Doh balls, would I take any? No, because zero means nothing. Well done, everybody. So after zero, who knows what number this is? This is number one. Very good, everybody. Let's practice writing one. We start at the top and we draw a straight line down. One. Very good. If you wanted to practice writing it on the table or on a piece of paper, one. Very good. Now who can show me one finger? So take your hand and go one, one. Can you jump one time for me? Let me see you jump, jump, one. Let's clap one time, one. Now I'm gonna take one of my Play-Doh balls. You take one thing of whatever you've got and we're gonna go one. I have one. Very good, everybody. So now one goes back in the line after zero. Who comes after one? What number is this? Very good. This is number two. Well done. So let's practice writing two. We're going to go around his head, down his back, and then we're going to give him a little foot. So if you were to practice writing it on your table, like that. Two. Let me hear you say two. Well done. Can you show me two fingers? So we're gonna count one, two, two fingers. Can you jump two times? Let me see. One, two, very good. Let's clap two times. One, two, well done. I'm gonna take two of my group. Are you gonna take two? Let's count them. One, two, very good everybody. Can you see that these two Play-Doh balls have got a partner? If they were going to have a dance, they'd have someone to dance with. They are an even number. Well done, everybody. 
So two goes back in the line and it goes after one. So we go zero, one, two. Who comes after two? So if we say zero, one, two, three, well done. So this is number three. And this is how we write number three. So we're going to around his head, stop. Around his tummy, stop. Well done. Can you show me three fingers? Let's count. One, two, three. Very good. Can you jump three times for me? Let me see. One, two, three. Well done. Let's count through that. Sorry, let's clap three times. One, two, three. Well done. I'm now going to take three of my Play Doh balls. You take three of whatever you have. Let's count them. One, two, three. Well done. Can you see that this one doesn't have a partner? These two do. So this is an odd number because it doesn't have a partner for everyone. Well done, everybody. So once we've done three, who comes next? So three goes back in our line. So we've got zero, one, two, three. Well done, four. This is number four. Let's practice writing four. Go down the back, along, and then it's almost like we're doing a cross. Can you see? So if you were to practice writing it on your table, you'd go like that. Well done. Can you do four fingers for me? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Very good. Can I see you jump four times? Let me see you touch the sky. One, two, three, four. Let's clap four times. One, two, three, four. Well done. I'm now going to take four of my Play-Doh balls. Can you take four of whatever you have? So let's go. One, two, three, four. Well done. Now, can you see that each one of my things has a partner? So this is even number. Well done, everybody. So now if we put four back in the line, after three, zero, one, two, three, four. Who comes next? Well done, number five. Very good, everybody. So this is number five. So if we go straight along his head, down his neck, round his tummy. So if we were to practice on the table, Go like this. Very good, everybody. Now, can you show me five fingers? Let's see if we can count. One, two, three, four, five. Can you believe it? That's one whole hand. Five fingers is one whole hand. Let me see you jump five times. One, two, three, four, Five, very good. Let's see if we can clap five times. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Now I'm going to count five of the Play-Doh balls. You count five of whatever you have. So let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now can you see this one doesn't have a partner? So this is an uneven number. Very good, everybody. So this is number five. So if he goes back in the line, now let's see if we can count. Are you ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well done. That's counting up. But now if we wanted to pretend to be astronauts and we wanted to count backwards like a rocket launch, can you do it with me? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off. Well done, everybody. So now you've practiced counting and you've learned what the numbers look like from zero to five. 
So after five comes six, and we're going to do from six to ten in our next video. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap, and I'll see you next time. Bye.